BJP, as always, pulled off a total surprise, picking Bupendra Patel as the new CM. He didn't even feature in the list of top contenders for the post. So exactly who is this dark horse and what does he bring to the table for the BJP ahead of elections? Here's all you need to know. Narendra Modi taking oath as Gujarat Chief Minister way back in 2001. Laying the foundation stone of two decades of BJP rule in its first citadel. Cut to 2021. The BJP now has a new face to hold the office and step into Narendra Modi's erstwhile shoes. So who's the man behind the face, little known outside of Gujarat, but is now primed to look after Modi's home turf? मेरे पर जो विश्वास रखा है, वो विश्वास को बिना टूटे हुए विकास के जो काम बाकी है, वो आगे बढ़ाएंगे। An influential Kadava Patidar face and a first-time MLA meet the surprise pick. The man at the center of Modi Shah's plan for Gujarat, Bupendra Rajnikant Patel. The 57-year-old is known to be a protege and a close aide of former Chief Minister Anandi Ben Patel, another Patidar stalwart of the BJP. A trusted confidant of the BJP top brass, Patel is known to be close to the BJP central and state leadership. A first-time MLA, Bupendra Patel contested from the Ghat Lodia constituency in 2017 and won against Congress's Shashikant Patel. The mammoth victory margin of more than 1 lakh votes was the highest winning margin in the 2017 Gujarat polls. An engineer by education, he played a key role in municipal politics and was an architect of BJP's surge in civic polls. He is a first time MLA but then he has a lot of experience as I said more than two decades of experience of administration and he has been very successful in all the endeavors that he has undertaken. State president has put up a target of 182 seats which we will try and achieve. I am sure we will be able to achieve under the leadership of Bupendra Patel. Bupendra Patel belongs to the Kadava subcaste of the Patidar community that makes up a massive vote bank and influential in North Gujarat. Bupendra Patel enjoys good relations with the Gujarat's dominant business communities that will add to BJP's advantage in the state. His pick is also an indicator that the BJP is now actively wooing rural Gujarat. Chief Minister's post is being represented by a party that, so it's quite obvious that the other caste will get an equal representation. My information is that the Koli community, the Thakors, which are a major OBC chunk in Gujarat, and some tribals are going to be inducted in the cabinet tomorrow. His family knows the enormity of the challenges ahead and fully back him over the responsibility as new CM. It is very good and Bharti Jandia Party has shown the trust in that he will be able to move on. And what is the trust in that he will be able to move on. And what is the trust in that he will be able to move on. He will be able to move on. The man in the top post has some big tasks at hand to woo back the Patidars, who've been BJP's strongest of supporters, to offset the anti-incumbency the BJP is facing in Gujarat and adding to the ever-dependable Modi factor. Though it is said that in Gujarat, either you're from the Anandi Ben faction or from the Amit Shah faction of the BJP, but Bhupendra Patel is one of those rare people in this entire party who have close ties with Anandi Ben Patel as well as Amit Shah with cameraman Prashant Bhatt in Gujarat Vidya for India.